Hi everyone, welcome back to the Venosa Estramalga family. Just like promised, I am so back with Under the Seashells game. If you missed the first part and how we actually introduced word problems, no worries. I'm going to leave a link below because you know what? This game is definitely a must. So this game, we actually play it differently. Like I said, part one, part two. Why not settle for level one? So after your children, your learners, your students, you know, master or are pretty fluent in word problems, the next question is, well, what exactly is the word problem and what's the terminology? So that's where part two comes in place. And we actually start off, I start off randomly with actually just the cards. So we'll pick one up, we'll do it together, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's go random card again, and we have this one here. So we would start off by just reading through it like you would approach any word problem. Two starfish were hiding under the clam's shell. Seven more starfish crawled under there too. How many starfish are under the shell now? So the first thing we did is we just read it. Now, the next thing I asked the children to do is, well, what are we doing? And the children may say something like, well, we're making more because now we have the starfish and more starfish and they're both under the clam and they're like yes you're making more but what does it mean to make more because again we're increasing the terminology here addition exactly we're adding now this is another thing we're very into levels and differentiation here if a child can do it in their head thumbs up to the child if they can't no problem just have a whiteboard on hand and just you know visually write it down and then the child will say hmm Seven plus two is, they could use their fingers, they could not. Bottom line is no manipulatives for this point. Seven plus two is seven, eight, nine. Oh, and at this point, I don't even tell the child if they're correct or not. Then we would go to the box because it's very important that they visualize it so many times. I want them to be so sick of the vis visualization that it's ingrained in their head. It's like, oh, I got this, no problem. Then they would actually take out the clam and they would, you know, get the manipulatives and they would actually act it out and self-check. That's the key. Number one, did they get the math term right? Number two, they got a total, most importantly, number three. Did their total match their setup and if the answer is yes the child could be proud of themselves because they went through three very hard steps and they succeeded for themselves and that's what I want to point out here under the seashells is a game where the children can actually take math to the next level self-check what they have done and be proud of their own work because learning is all about showing children they could do it for themselves Yes, in the beginning they need the tools. The tools don't go away. The tools are right here. Look at this cute little box again. Under the seashells, the tools are here. But level two, they don't have the tools and they will self-check. And once they get it correct, they are proud for themselves. And that's what I want to show. Children should really be proud for themselves. And under the seashells is a great way to introduce word problems, increase vocabulary, and help children self-correct. A few things. Number one, this game is amazing. And don't forget to check out the first part of the video because you know what? It's great. Highly recommend it. Number two, I have a Pinterest board where I have a lot of other math resources, both my own from Benosa Stramalka and just from around because you know what? There are other amazing educators out there. So if you want more fun with addition, don't forget to check out that board. And number three, if you have any questions on education on this game, Share it with us because we're all a family. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with your friends and family, and let Benosa Estramalca family grow.